Hi there, Cupbearers. Will Bartley, Artistic Director of Cup of Hemlock here, uh, and also the director of our current polished reading, The Man of Destiny by George Bernard Shaw. One of the reasons that I chose Man of Destiny is because Edmund, Alex, and I actually worked on it a little bit back when we were at the Toronto Theatre Academy, and we feel that the pacing of the play and the energy that the play brings forth is really fantastic for the current state of the world. I mean, we are all looking for something a little bit more fun and energetic to enjoy, and, and this play really captures that. Beyond that as well, it actually does have quite a bit of political scope because it takes a look at leadership, authority, and where the power of the people resides in relation to those powers at play. Um, and I believe what the play has to say is that the power of a country or a state or any kind of leadership actually resides with its people and its communities there within. Um, with that in mind, this play evidently is an important one that should still be staged. One of the biggest things that I want to improve about this production versus the last one is the sound quality. We've actually uh, gone out of our way, a few of us, to pick up some new microphones, and we are looking forward to the editing process to bring that audio up to the level that we wanted it to be for the last production. Of course, as we've talked about before and as is posted on our pages already, these polished readings are meant to be kind of a stepping stone as we gear up to the idea of doing a full online production. So as we're learning, we realize that the audio needs to be improved, and we are making every step we can to do that, and we're so excited to share that product and that work that we've been putting in on that front with all of you, our viewers. Additionally, uh, we are actually introducing a lot of blocking elements and movement to the piece that wasn't present in Ghosts before. So, uh, you can look forward to seeing some very fun interactions between the characters and the Zoom call, and maybe even a little bit of magic. My favorite character by far is the Lady. Uh, she outsmarts every other character that she is on the stage with and is constantly able to get the better of them and get exactly what she wants from the situations. Her creativity and problem solving is some of the best that I have ever seen in a play. And Tanisha and I have been working very closely in ensuring that those elements and the power of her as a woman comes to the forefront through the text and uh, for the whole play. So you can look forward to seeing a really exciting portrayal of this character uh, through this polished reading. If I could play a character in this play, who would it be and why? Uh, that would easily be Giuseppe. The reason for that is because, first of all, Giuseppe is well outside the realm of the typical characters that I would play. I usually get cast as more of a Napoleon-type character, deceptive Iago types. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but Giuseppe is this fun, free-flowing spirit whose movement is like so sporadic and spontaneous. and like It just captures this beautiful language that is brought along with the character and he's such a charmer too like every single person that comes across his inn he just somehow gets on their good side and, and we really see that in the dynamic between napoleon and giuseppe uh so yeah that with the movement and, and the grace that alex has brought into the character that you will all get to see when the polished reading comes out i just really feel the desire and drive to go forth and play that character at some point in my future career as well in any case, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble about our next project. It's always fun to do so. Um, we will be publishing Man of Destiny on September 9th, so make sure you keep an eye out for that, and we look forward to your viewership in the future. Cheers, and stay safe, stay well.